Hello, welcome back to Jari. Today I'm going to be talking about Exit West by Mohsin Hamid. Um, this came out in 2017 and to great acclaim. Um, and it follows the story of a couple, Saeed and Nadia, in unnamed war-tour Middle Eastern country. Their city is getting less and less safe to live in and they hear rumours about these doors popping up um, all over the world, which are black. This is a very misrepresentative cover. The door is black. You can't see what's on the other side. Uh, but if you go through the doors, you will be relocated somewhere else in the world. Like they're, they're doors that will take you from one place to somewhere else, but you don't know where it is. Said and Nadia go through one of these doors to try and find a better place in the world to live. I had pretty high hopes for this book. I thought I was really going to enjoy it. Um, this is actually my boyfriend's copy. He's read it. He liked it. One of his favourite books is one of Hamid's other works, The Reluctant Fundamentalist. So I thought I'd really enjoy it and I didn't. It really frustrated me. The thing that annoyed me most about it, I'd say, um, is the perspective that it was written from. So it's a third person omnipotent narrator and I just found it really kind of patronizing. It felt like it was a parable. Um, it really felt like it was a parable. It's like, they don't name the city where these two people are from. Like, why? Why, <laughs> why is it, is it just like any Middle Eastern city can be war-torn? <laughs> that seems like a really weak decision to me. Because the whole thing is about displacement and immigration, um, it's extremely moralistic and having that narrator just made it feel really patronizing. This book very much has an agenda and that is immigrants don't want to have to have left the place that they were from and you know should have rights anywhere sort of thing. Um, there's a section of the book where they are in London and uh, like it's one of the times where there's you get so more of a of a macro um, perspective on it. So all of the native population uh, want to like sequester all of these new immigrants in a certain area and are trying to basically like starve them, <laughs> like both physically from food, but also like electricity and uh, corner them off in a certain area and just kind of treat them like vermin. And it really, I, it, <laughs> This book presents a very us and them sort of situation in terms of immigration. And very broadly, the native people are always entirely against immigration and there's no nuance to it, um, which I found really frustrating. As someone that likes to basically question anything that comes across my plate, um, I think like, having an enormous influx of people into your city that have a lot of needs and you not being able to provide for those needs doesn't mean that you're evil. Like there's, there's so much more to it than that. And it's tricky because Hamid was obviously trying to write a love story and then like inserted this magical realism element. And I love that magical realism element. I think the idea of having like doors to anywhere is really interesting. And the thing that interests me about it is like, what is happening on a global scale and what is happening inside of the people that have to make decisions to respond to those things. And that is not what you get with this because it's supposed to be about them and their, their romance. Um, you don't see like why someone has blocked a door in a certain way. You just see them confronting the people that have blocked the door. And to me, that's just not doing justice to a creative idea like if you're if you're adding magical realism into the book you really do have to confront what that means for the context of the book and of course he did do that but not in a way that would have satisfied me personally <laughs> i'm gonna make a call that if you enjoyed the alchemist by paolo coelho you'd also enjoy this and if you hated the alchemist you'd really not enjoy this that's just a guess let me know in the comments if you uh feel like you're on either side of that divide. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.